Welcome to a new video from Real Electronic. My name is Frank. I am Daniel. We are here at the Gelnhausen Vocational School. Parent-Teacher Conference? Nope. Today we are dealing with the topic of Industry 4.0. It's a term that requires some unpacking. Everyone is talking about it, but interpreting it in their own way. What does Industry 4.0 mean for you as a user, as a decision maker, and what advantages does it have? Here at the Vocational School, they have set up an Industry 4.0 lab with the active support of machine and device manufacturers. And what the Vocational School understands by Industry 4.0 is what we're going to look at now. What exactly is Industry 4.0? There must have already been something before it. When the steam engine was invented in the 18th century, the age of industrialization began. People refer to this as Industry 1.0. It was a vital initial step that needed further development. Late in the 19th century, the actual age of industrialization began. Electric current and assembly lines enabled mass production in factories. This was the industry standard for more than 100 years and laid the foundation for our modern affluent society. The early 1970s marked the beginning of the age of programmable logic controllers, or PLCs for short. We are also talking about automation here, with the goal of increasing efficiency, reducing manual processes and thereby increasing quality. And today we are talking about Industry 4.0, the next logical step in development after 3.0. You may be familiar with it in your private household. Today, everything is networked together. Even your coffee maker can automatically order more coffee when it is empty. Personally, I really like that. The Gelnhausen Vocational School students will show us how this looks in an industrial environment. Let's go, Frank! <music> Hi, I'm Frank. I'm Robin. Thanks for devoting some of your time to us. You're welcome. Robin, you have an incredible machine park here. Why does the vocational school put such a huge effort into this? We are one of two vocational schools in Germany that drain the branch of plastics engineers. That is why we value having mastery of all control systems that are customary in the trade. We are talking about Industry 4.0. To what extent are your products networked together? We have the option of connecting our six-axis robot to the injection molding machines. This This removes the manufactured parts, inspects them under the camera, after that the sprue is removed and then we can use laser marking on the parts. Thank you for the information. Hello Max. Hello. This is the laser marking station. Exactly. What is involved with marking these test stripes? As you can see, the only difference between them is their color. To enable tracking of them in later production chains, we use additives then react to laser radiation. Why we can mark a QR or matrix code on a stripe with a laser and thereby personalize the products and make them one of a kind. <laughs> To what extent is this device also suitable for Industry 4.0? This device has all the interfaces we need to incorporate it into our process. Another advantage is that we can call up data in real time using by any browser. Max just talked about our Rear Chat Titan platform, a device independent operating concept. 
Here we have all of the interfaces needed for mapping horizontal and vertical data streams. A DHCP server is on board that enables us to perform remote maintenance using by any browser. Nothing is standing in the way of Industry 4.0. We are here with Johannes in quality assurance at the material testing station. So now we ask ourselves the question, why is such a test performed, Johannes? The customer has various requirements for the material. For example, we need to know whether the tensile strength corresponds to the target values. To that end, we perform a tensile test here by pulling on it until it breaks. It's best if I simply show you once. <laughs> the result of the test. The sample passed the tensile test and thanks to the data matrix code we can easily track the batch. Then how about we scan it now? Sure. Yet another good example of how very important it is to have high quality coding and marking. The network capability of the devices is also essential here. An exciting day at the Gelnhausen Vocational School has come to an end. They have an ear to the ground here. And we as the device manufacturers are also taking this path. If you would like to make your coding and marking process ready for Industry 4.0, we will gladly come with it. Thank you. We will see you again soon. Tune in again for... Coding and marking professionals on site.